people could simply help themselves to everything. Restrictions are set only by their ideas of morality and ethics. The use of an exchange system significantly influences these ideas. An exchange system gives default ideas about morality and ethics. You are allowed to take just the amount of goods as you have means of exchange. Bertolt Brecht once wrote, first you think about food, then about morality. In general, he means that physical laws are stronger than self-imposed rules. But the use of an exchange system affects the freedom of a person. He could take everything he wants, but the system says no, if he has no money. Without an exchange system, a person would take things beyond any measure. Means of exchange should create accepted limits to this freedom. Let's have a look to the system. If you go to a salesman in a market, he would say no, if you just want to take something. You are usually not allowed to take something without giving anything. If you take it anyhow, he would call the police to underline his no, and you might be called a thief. But as an intelligent person, you may ask the simple question, why am I not allowed? Now, the salesman has to explain why he influences your freedom to take something without giving anything. His reasons may vary, but mainly he will explain that he has had to do something to be able to sell the goods you'd like. But if the salesman is as clever as you, he is going to ask why you influence his freedom to say no and why you just take things which are not yours. In this case, your reason may vary too, but mainly you will explain that you want to survive. After this discussion, it depends on the understanding of the salesman whether he changes his no to yes. But he will be very careful that nobody hears his answer, in case another person comes and wants something for nothing too. A social insurance system tries that such discussions do not occur every day, but the today's usage of social insurance systems transfers the discussion just to another place. The provider of social help, usually the welfare system of a state, wants to know why you ask for money. You must prove that you have no income to maintain yourself. Actually, it's the same discussion as on the market. An exchange system doesn't influence the freedom to give, to say yes, but the freedom to take by saying no. An unconditional basic income describes a silent agreement that everybody within an exchange system needs means of exchange to maintain his life, but also that the exchange systems limit the amount one person can take.